everyone, it's Kristen here again of Scooterbook Corner. I am just coming on here uh, for the part two of the carousel swap uh, share here so that I can concentrate a little bit more on the 3D vending machine. Um, if you watched my previous video, as long as I uploaded them in the right order, uh, I had mentioned that I was doing a swap with Carolina from Carolina's Crafts and that our main component of the swap we agreed upon was this 3D vending machine. Uh, again, I am using the Carousel Collection by Maggie Holmes and really fell in love with decorating this little thing. So here is my vending machine. So I use one of my favorite uh, papers in the collection, which is this yellow and pink floral. I use the So Sweet band, uh, mm -hmm, die cut pieces, that's the word I'm looking for. A tiny little uh, kite die that I made, uh, a little banner flag, and then went to town with this rosette using uh, some metallic thread, one of my favorite uh, die cuts. That's called tool. That's the word I'm looking for. So there's some tool back there. Chipboard piece, uh, bows galore, one of these fringes, a one of the buttons that I made. Let's see, can you get in there and see it? All right, so there it is. Uh, I use this scallop trim around the edge of the box. And instead of do going with all of the things that were on the cut file, um, I kind of edited it up a little bit. So instead of doing a paper trim around the window slot, the vending slot, and the coin slot, I actually used a glitter um, mix. So it just kind of was a different thing that I thought would be fun, another element of texture. And I got so excited about decorating this that I literally kind of forgot to do the uh, number buttons that are supposed to go here, which honestly I'm totally fine with. I think it would have kind of been a whole lot going on, a little too much, and really wanted to change up the way that um, this was decorated. Uh, so that it was kind of a little bit different than ways I've seen other people decorate it. Uh, the side is this glitter pink paper because you can never have too much glitter. Boom, look at all that lovely. And then the back is actually sort of just simple in that it just has the uh, paper, but I did stitch uh, along the edges and I actually added one of my little stickers back here so that she can remember who made this for her. So the inside of the vending machine, um, so I actually, in all the component, or all the components, all the little squares, if you do take all the embellishments out and the, uh, ruffle paper that's in there, all of, there's paper back there is what I'm trying to say. So even if you take the goodies out, you would actually have something kind of pretty to look at. And I even, uh, sprayed my gold Heidi shine in there for sort of my mixed media sort of effect that I like to add on top of, um, or add on to a lot of my projects. So inside here, we have some of the, as a matter of fact, let's see if I can scooch that out to show you guys. Pardon me while I, all right, so in the back of this, you can see that I've added, uh, a 3D flower with a sticker it says it's a good day for a good day. So once the goodies are taken out of there permanently, if she wished, uh, there's you know a fun little secret saying back there. But what is in this little embellishment slot are some of these faux uh, leather and, and glitter um, fabric bows. So picking some colors that. I thought she could use or things just a good variety of different kinds of fine glitter chunky glitter faux leather metallic leather uh, all of these lovely bows are in there so using some miniature cupcake liners to um, 
hold the embellishments, or at least that's the theory, but it's kind of hard to ship these kinds of things because they're going to fall out, but here we go. This is what's in there. So I cut out a bunch of these tiny little bows. These are actually using the Coco and Reno bow dies. Um, and a lot of them I tried to double layer so that they were, in fact, a little bit thicker. But so a bunch of little bows that are good for embellishing gold glitter. Uh, all of these are cut from the carousel collection and gold glitter paper. So a variety of bow types because she loves bows. I love bows. You can never have too many types of bows so that when you're making your projects, you can put on all the bows, right? Okay. So also, this is probably a smarter way to rip these out of here, right? So in this cupcake liner, there are a bunch of these uh, glitter stars which are perfect for all kinds of different crafting projects. I know purple is not one of her favorite colors, to be fair, it's not also one of mine, but with uh, you know the pastel Halloween trends coming up, I tend to like the purple in that collection or in those kinds of things, so I thought maybe um, if she's like me and doesn't always buy purple, it's nice to have some for that kind of crafting or if you are trading with someone who is a purple fan. All right, so in this lovely container slot, I had packed in a whole bunch of different buttons. Of course, the perfect pastel colors that are definitely characteristic for um, some Maggie Holmes collections, especially Carousel, and then some of these vintagey plastic uh, pinky peach buttons and of course can't go wrong with some black and white polka dots because polka dots are amazing and I love them and they go so well with lots of different things and black and white also complements this collection really well. In this slot I had used um, one of the the bow print digital paper. Uh, I get my digitals at AC Digitals for the Maggie Holmes collection but I printed that bow paper onto a printable vellum and sewed these little pouches, which even have Velcro. And in here are some more buttons that I made using the carousel collection. I am trying to find the right lighting. This one's really hard to see because it's super, super pastel. It's beautiful in person. It's a little hard with the lighting right now, but you get it. You get what's on there. And some more of the patterns from um, the collection. So these make great little embellishments that you could just glue onto your projects. Also in some of the middle slots are these stinking adorable little miniature popcorns. I used my silhouette, a cut file on my silhouette to size down the popcorn boxes and then just use some Copic markers or my gold paint pen to make the stripes so that there is a variety of colors. And then they are full of tiny little yellow uh, palms with some stickles glitter because you can't forget the butter. Come on, gotta have the buttered popcorn. So there are a whole bunch of those cute little things are in there for her to craft and create with. This upper um, shelf has a bunch of teeny tiny cray paper rosettes. So uh, these make really cute little additions to your projects. And of course, you know, the little buttons would work very nicely on those if she wished. So those are up in that little slot and last but not least of course several of these have also fallen out <laughs> so oh now I'm spreading bows everywhere so lots of these little jimmies of a whole bunch of colors and sizes these colors are perfect for um, carousel they're also perfect for just Maggie Holmes collections in general so 
all these variety of little jimmies can't go wrong with some bling and so that is what is in this final little cup so that is the vending machine and all the goodies that were inside it i hope you enjoyed this video if you've liked what i've shared so far don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh so i can uh you know be motivated to keep keep up with this and make more content and again if uh, you have something to say why don't you comment down below give me a like and i'll see you next time